How many deep cycle storage batteries do you think your off-grid cabin needs? Well, you know, the only way to answer that question is to figure out how much electricity all those gadgets inside your house use. Well, today, we're going to show you how to calculate that. Now, this is important stuff if you're just getting into off-grid living and trying to figure out how many solar panels you need or how many batteries you need. Now, if you're already off-grid, you've got a charge controller somewhere in your system. And it may have a function that tells you how much electricity you're using. You won't have to go any further. So let's take a look. Some units, like this one, will give you a daily readout of watts used. If you've got a unit like that, grab those numbers, skip this episode, and move on to episode three, where we talk about batteries. But if you're just starting out, if you don't have one of those systems, or if you have multiple controllers, one for solar, another for hydro, or if you use a generator, then you're gonna have trouble calculating a daily number. If that's you, follow me. Karen and I are gonna show you how to calculate electrical demand. Start by creating a spreadsheet that has four columns. This first column, you're gonna put everything in the house that uses electricity. Second column is how many watts do each of those things use? Third column is how many hours a day do you use that? Fourth column is watts per day, which you get by simply multiplying watts times hours. Let's start with our kitchen lights. The labels say they each use five watts. So I've written down my kitchen lights, two of them at five watts, that's 10 watts. I use them about three hours a day. So watts times hours equals 30 watts a day, simple. So as Karen suggested, go around the house, find all the lights that you use. Take a look at the light bulb. This one says it uses five watts. We use this light for reading at night. We share the lamp for about three hours. So we'll go enter that on the chalkboard. You get the idea. Let's talk about appliances. And yes, even off grid, you're gonna be using appliances. Everyone uses different ones like a toaster or a hand mixer or a hair dryer. Let's use my hair dryer for an example. This hair dryer uses 1800 watts, but I don't use this hair dryer every day. I use it maybe once every three days. So I'll divide three into 1800. That gives me 600. I use it maybe 10 minutes a day. I can't put that up here. I have to convert it to fractions of an hour. And I do that by dividing 10 by 60. That gives me 0.16. So to get the wattage per day, I multiply watts times hours, and I get 96. Go through your house, and do this with each of your appliances. Now, some appliances can be hard to get to, to get their wattage readings. This wood stove, for example, has a blower on the back of it. But I can't contort myself around and look at the plate on the back and read the, what the wattage is. So there's a solution. It's this. This is called a plug-in watt meter. And what you do is you take this unit and you plug it in to the wall socket. Move my wood pile here. You can see we plug it into the wall like that, and it lights up. Then we take the blower fan, the plug, and we stick it in. Fan comes on, and the watt meter reads how many watts are being used by that blower. Now you can also use these watt meters and plug them in for a 24-hour period. That comes in real handy if you happen to have a, an electric refrigerator because refrigerators have compressors. They come on and they go off. They come on and they go off. So if you just plug it in 
and get one reading. You may have it when the compressor is running or when it's not running, you won't have an accurate reading. Leave it in for 24 hours, average it out, and you'll get a good measure of how much electricity something like your refrigerator. Now the last appliance that we need to add to our list is our inverter. This is what converts our battery power into 110 power for the house. This unit uses 25 watts of electricity and it runs 24 hours a day. So we need to add those numbers to Karen's list. Okay, we have finished our list of all the things in the house that use electricity. We went over these. Next one was the washer. I don't use it every day, so these are fractional numbers. Satellite modem, laptops, miscellaneous lights, chargers for our phones and Kindles, TV, and then the big one, our inverter. Now you add these all up and you get 1,520 watts. That's the number of watts our batteries have to provide us every day to keep the lights on. So, does your battery bank, your solar panels, do they have the chops to meet that energy demand? Well, that's the subject of our next episode. So stay tuned because we're going to upload it very soon. Meanwhile, check out our channel. There's lots of other good stuff about how to live off the grid.